Okay, Trey, this is James Parker. Thank you for coming in for your swing evaluation today, mate. I appreciate it. Um, so we've got you up. The model we used, um, certainly for the down the line view, was a guy named Charlie Wee on the right side. So, um, you know, we spoke briefly about the length of your club, uh, the length of your clubs might be a bit long for you. So just as a, a short term solution, you can certainly hold um, uh, start to grip it down the handle a, a bit, you know, just half an inch, three quarters of an inch, just to get you, get you uh, bent forward a little bit more in your setup, right? Um, and I think that will help you bend your knees a bit more uh, as well. Um, but nothing, nothing drastic uh, to um, to talk about in your setup. Um, shoulders look a little bit open. Forearms look a little bit open. Um, you know, but uh, uh, with regards to uh, the main thing, and don't forget, you know, what we were what we were observing was um, not a particular um, consistent shot shape. Some of the shots you pushed off to the right, some of the shots went off to the left, right? So um, we we were, we're really we're really looking at what's going on through impact to um, to 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 contribute to that well you know even though you do a good job uh, you know we'll talk about how you come down a bit over the top in a second but then you do a good job of trying to of, of correcting your arms and getting a club behind your hands there but you can see how open the club face is right so you're going from a very open position just before impact to a very closed position um, post impact right those two green those two green lines there so you look at you look at a pro you look at someone like this guy who goes from if anything you know getting it down here and having the toe in front of the heel right so that looks a little bit closed right to hitting it with the face looking as though it's a little bit open Right, so you can see the difference in those two green lines there, how yours is going from very open um, to very closed through impact, right? So it's just too much face rotation, right? So it's a there's a face to path relationship issue. So we need to control the face a little bit more because you've got a two way miss. Sometimes you miss to the right, sometimes you miss miss to the left. Um, and also um, you can see just how straight your hands are going there and how um, outward your right arm is, right? Where you see, that, you know, we spoke about this in depth during your lesson, how, you know, the pros get to impact and then their hands start moving around the corner, right? Their hands actually start moving around the corner this way and their right arm, their right arm is a lot more inward um, and turn the corner as well right so um so with that regard we definitely want to work on hand path don't we so you know the two the two you know if i was going to diagnose your problems the two major problems um i would say would be a uh, path being hand path um and also uh, your face to path relationship right we need to uh, build you a swing where that face isn't rotating as much it's not going from an open position to a really closed position right uh, so if we just get you back to uh, impact and we'll talk you uh, we'll get you back to to the start and we'll talk you talk you briefly through the swing right the things that we talked about just from the down the line view to start with so um, you know the first thing we picked up on was um, kind of how straight your arm is coming back right um, and you know the reason I pulled this guy out on the right is because what he does in the takeaway is a really good example you can see how inward his arm is there right so the more inward your hands can move that's going to help you with your rotation as well right it's going to help you with your turns as you get up to the top so we know what you know when we look at it from face on in a few minutes that um, you swayed to the right a little bit um, and you know one of the things you want to do is is actually move the hips towards the target on the backswing. You were swaying to the right, and that might just be a compensation for um, not turning 
not turning very well um, in your in your backswing and, and particularly in your takeaway. Um, and then as we go halfway back, um, you can see your hands and the club are kind of through uh, the middle of your right bicep, still underneath the top red line though, so it's pretty good, whereas his hands and, and club are going through the base of his bicep. Um, and then he just, you know, front, it's kind of it's kind of getting to that position and understanding that this right arm stays tucked against the chest and then completing your turn to get up to the top, right? So that's how you get up to the top and you can see how this right arm, you know, the underside of his right arm is still kind of tucked against his torso. Whereas if you got to there and then just completed your turn and got to somewhere around there, that would be much better and I've actually got a a video of you doing that so I'll pull that up in a second but you carry on you know you've com already completed your turn there's nothing else going on with your body but it's just all arms lift arms lifting up from there look right and you can see how you've now got this space underneath that right arm right so we've lost a bit of connection under your right arm and then as we start down, you see the first move as you start down is very much over the top of the red line. So now your hands and the club are dissecting the, your right shoulder or even slightly above your right shoulder. So we need to build you a swing where we get into the top a little bit better, tucking that right arm. Um, and then so we can come down more in the slot. And the slot just means basically underneath that top red line right you can see how his hands are coming down right on top of it uh, but his shaft is shallowed out and you can see how that club head um, and the shaft are underneath the red line there right so significantly different with regards to shaft angles to start the downswing right but then what you do um, which we picked up on um, which is why you get away with a lot of shots is then what you do is you you manage to somehow manipulate your arms right and start to get your right arm more underneath your left arm to get this club head behind your hand so put a little circle where the club head is so club head much better so at p6 there club head still behind your hands which is where you see the pros so you see the pros just there you see how his club heads just slightly behind his hands right um, so I thought you did that very well I think that was your best bit of your swing sort of from here because uh, most people from here are going to come down whoops most people from that position are going to come down and get the club out here somewhere but you actually managed to get the club head behind your hands there but the big problem um, from there is the fact that you're going from a very open p club face to then lots of whipping over with your right hand and your hands moving dead straight through impact look right um, and lots of club face rotation so you watch this guy come down through impact turned his body well so you can see how well he's turned his hips turned his shoulders right and it's kind of understanding that impact position so that through impact now now just post impact you can see where he's where his right arm is so his hands have moved his hands have moved around the corner around the corner this way so that when he exits and you can see where the club and his hands are exiting it's well well underneath his left shoulder whereas your hands and the club the shaft exit above your right shoulder and you've whipped that face over right so from that position I would say well your miss is going to be more to the left because that face is always going to whip over um, you're not swinging left enough with your hands through impact um, so I would say most of you know if you sent me this online I would say well most of your shots you're going to miss left um, but you say that you could you you your miss is mainly to the right so I think that's that's coming from from you from you manipulating the club with your arms and the hands there right which you do well um, and, and you can see how open the club face is there and you just carry on and, 
and just have a just very slightly open club face at impact um, but like I said with all the manipulation going on um, you're going to hit shots to the right and to the left right so the objective is to is to have a one-way miss at least build a pattern um, at least build a pattern into your swing where you've got a one-way miss right um, but that's more where we want to be um, through a, a post impact with his hands and his club coming out below his left shoulder right not whipped over not high and whipped over with the club face um, so let's look at uh, well let me let me while we're here let me show you the one Oh yeah, this was the better backswing, right? This was the better backswing that we did. So we got some, we got some uh, sticks on the ground just to illustrate what we want to do, right? So you see how high that right elbow gets. So you get there, and then you lift your right elbow off the ground. Whereas what we're doing here is we're just keeping that right elbow tucked in a little bit, just to there. That's it, and that's your that's your new backswing. So now, if we draw a line up from your right shoulder, right, you can see how your hands are a lot more behind that green line. The 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 the, the swing on the right side of the screen, right. So that when you start to come down, right, you've got a better chance of coming down in the slot rather than over the top, which was your old swing, right. Um, now, uh, the drill, right, so this was your, this is your exit, right, so we were, so, we, you know, we've, one of the things we've got to work on hard is, is, is your hands moving left more, right, through impact, through post impact, after impact. Um, and getting this right arm more inward right so you can see you can see what I'm doing with you here is I'm just saying right well preset impact right so get on your left foot get your hips over your left foot um, turn your hips out the way turn your shoulders out the way as you're trying to recreate impact and then show me an exit where your hands are moving along that stick on the ground Right, and you can see how straight away this right arm starts to move inward. So your hands are moving inward. Right, so you so you recreate an impact there. Your hips are out the way. You're on your left foot. Your hips are over your left foot. You've turned your hips. You've turned your shoulders. Now watch where your hands go. So if you put a little circle where your hands are. Now watch where your hands go. Boom, left. So then straight away, your arms moving left. So look at those green lines now to illustrate where you were at the start of the lesson, the one on the left with your arm going, where well your right arm's actually going outward, isn't it? It's not even going straight. Straight would be down here. We actually want to move inward. So you look at those lines, and then the exit point, your shaft's above, shaft is above your left shoulder with the face whipped over right now from there now what you can do is you can see the club face the cl the shaft is coming out a lot lower and the face hasn't whipped over look right so you want to start hitting much better golf shots that's where the club's got to start coming out right the club's got to start coming out there that's really important so that's good so a big improvement there with regards to exit point and just understand, just build it. You know, the, the first part of making a change is just being aware of what you've got to do, right? That this is what you're doing. This is where you've got to do it. So do it in slow motion first and then maybe hit some tiny little shots 50 yards out there and then work your way up to longer shots. You don't go straight into hitting long shots. That's not how it works. So uh, let's get you from face on now. Uh, 
Um, and I think the model we used for this was um, Mac, right? Yeah. So, so the first thing, you know, we'll draw some lines here. We'll go line outside your left ear, line outside the hips. So the first thing, you know, we said was, well, let's get your shaft leaning forward a little bit more. Um, so you can see how he's got some forward shaft lean uh, going on. Uh, and then, you know, the big thing on the backswing was, <clears throat> was teaching you a little bit about the the functionality of what we want to do right we want to try and keep your hips <clears throat> we want to keep your hips between those red between those green lines and keep your left ear next to the the top green line right uh, so to do that you know the functionality of it is well we've got to straighten the right leg a little bit we've got to flex the left knee a little bit um, and feel as though we're getting our right hip higher than our left hip. Whereas you can, you see, you take it away, and and, you, and straight away you're in trouble. It doesn't resemble that movement pattern on the right side of Mac O'Grady, right? So you can see how that right hip, your hips have kind of swayed. Um, and you know, I think that then leads into the other things at the top of your swing with your right arm position, uh, and then starting to come down, right? So it's a sway away from the target um, instead of uh, straightening the right leg, flexing the left knee and keep it. So you've got all the space in here, look. Right, instead of, instead of he's got his space next to his right, next to his right, uh, his right pocket. Get rid of those lines. Uh, and then you do a good job of sitting into your left foot, really happy with that, um, you know, and pushing down in your left foot. Uh, but your hips are never, you see, the thing is, your hips, if you're moving your hips to the right, so you're, you're really moving, you're really moving this center, that red circle, over your right foot more on the backswing, right? Now, the more you move it over your right foot, the further it's got to travel as we start to get down to impact, right? So we want it kind of there over your left foot at impact. And I just don't think you get there, right? Sometimes you might make a really good, really good pass at it and get there. Sometimes you might not, right? But if you have a look at where your right pocket is at impact, so that in that, 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 that red line, and then you look at where Mac O'Grady's right pocket is at impact. There. Right, and I'll do this in blue. Right, look at all this space here between the green line, which was where his right hip was at setup, and where yours is. Right, so he's moved forward towards the target a lot more. Right. And then when you stop it, stop when your right arm's parallel with the ground, and your right his right pocket is almost on the the forward green line there, right? Whereas your right pocket is still back here. Look, All right? So we definitely have an issue of um, not moving your hips forward enough, and that's because they swayed away from the target on the backswing, right? Um, but if we get rid of these lines. And then we look at, uh, you know, the next thing I want you to be aware of is just, you know, that we spoke about was what, what's going on with the right, with the arms, right? So as you come down, we know that right arm came away from your torso a little bit at the top. So then as you come down, you can see how that right arm still on top of your left, your left arm coming down right down here right whereas you see the pros what they tend to do is they start to come down and start to get that right arm more underneath their left arm so as they start to come down here it just looks like they got one arm look that right arm's really tucked underneath the left arm and you're going to be able to do that more 
by keeping that right arm connected at the top okay and then even down to there look even all the way down to there I can hardly see his right arm behind his left right and then as we come down you can see how it's your, it's your um your wrist and your right hand is kind of leading your elbow right whereas what we want is we want the elbow get rid of these lines we want the elbow leading the wrist right that's the correct sort of function we want of the right arm right if we're going to work on you know okay ex <coughs> excuse me okay exiting left is important right turning more at impact getting your right arm and your hands exiting left more that's important but we've also got to try and get the functionality of this right arm working better right so if it's coming down and you can see how that right elbow is behind your your right wrist your right hand right whereas you can see there that picture on the right side his elbows in front of his right wrist then that leads leads to a better action through impact right and you can see as he comes through it's more like he's got his right hand underneath the club now whereas you kind of get that right hand really oh really rotating over so there's a few things we need to turn more at impact we need to get your right hand get your right arm and your and your hands moving left more through impact um, but we also need to improve that functionality of that right arm coming down as well don't we so So uh, just in summation, mate, just to summarise what we what we what we want to work on, it's you know I was observing two shots. I'm observing a shot, a push to the right and a pull to the left, and you know to give you a diagnosis of why that's happening, um, the hand path. Um, let's get your swing up. Uh, the hands are just traveling too too straight through impact right and the club face um, the club face is just going from a very open position to a very closed position through all that hand rotation and forearm rotation right so we need to build a swing that starts to eliminate those issues which and, and to, to you know to model more of what the pros do and get in the positions of what the pros do so so you know what changes would need to play need to take place um, well first of all the hands and the right arm need to exit more left right so you can see your hand your right arms out here uh, we want the hands coming round the body and the arm inward right so we want more of um, not that one we want more of that right we want more of that so you can see where your right arms going after impact your right arms in here it's not out, out this way okay um, uh, and also improved right arm position um, at the top right so you can see how this there's a lot of space under here so I'd want to eliminate a lot of that space and get your hand get your right arm tucked against the top of your torso um, to improve the functionality of it coming down into impact right um, so how would we how would we start to implement those changes well um, just like the one you see on the left um, I would start at impact right so we're working on um, hand path and uh, exiting more left right so that the way that I would work on it is I would start at impact there get over your left foot make sure your hips and your shoulders are open to kind of um, illustrate impact and then I would just go very slowly making sure your hands are moving left and your right arms are moving left kind of going along that stick on the ground right and I would do that and I would do it slowly and I would do lots of reps 
to build up your awareness because every shot you hit in the future you've got to start to get the club coming out underneath your left shoulder right got to start coming out underneath your left shoulder if you want to hit better golf shots okay so like i said you've got to to build up it all starts with building up the awareness of right what you were doing and what we want to do which is on the left right and it starts with slow motion it starts with short little movements it starts with slow motion movements uh, and eventually just just bunting some little shots out there 50 yards getting used to the new movement pattern and then working your way up to full swings and full shots and eventually getting your long clubs out and your driver doing it um, so the right arm at the top uh, the next thing is I would want you know you know the other thing that I'd want you to um, uh, you know to implement would be the right arm connected at the top right and I think we did this with this one yeah there you go so you see how this is just a little bit better tucked there and it's a better better position at the top where your hands are deeper hands are more behind your hands are more behind your right shoulder look right so if they're more behind your right shoulder because your right arm's tucked you're going to be able to come down you've got a better chance of coming down um, in the slot in between the in, you know in these these lines coming down um, and then the other one um, That was yeah the 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 the, the, sw the swaying of the hips. This was your um, this was your your movement when we talked about the functionality of the lower body. So toes out, knees out over the toes, right, and then as you go back, we're straightening your right leg, flexing your left leg. And there you go. And even though you've exaggerated that, look at that for a better better move up to the top right so now the space the space is actually going on here which is which is the pattern uh, you see the pros make right at the top there you can already then establish some uh, some pressure under your lead foot at the top which is again another pattern that the pros make right so that was really good I was really happy with, to see you do that um, so you look at you look at that top of your swing there compared to the one at the start of the lesson completely different that's really good that's really good that's very reminiscent the one on the left of a uh, guy named Mike uh, Mike Bennett got his swing somewhere right this is him practicing there you go this is him practicing some little drills and stuff but you can see where he is there how he's ready to just sit into his left leg right because he's made a better backswing right right leg straight and left leg flex and he can sit into his left leg coming down but what what i'm saying is with that sort of backswing you can make a much better pass at it coming down so that's really good so uh, practice those few things mate got to go slower to start with to build up awareness and then uh, if you have any questions or comments just uh, shoot me over an email thanks trey